Hello everybody and welcome to the class. We have been doing a lot of things in class over these lectures and our past lectures and every time I tell you something new, of course today also we will learn something new, we will learn about culture, about how the Japanese behave, about how the Japanese interact in our coming lessons and lectures, but today we will do how to say politely, how to use the polite expression in Japanese and how to request people to do something. So, well before that I will as usual, as always I do the assignments with you, we will do the assignments today before we actually start with our class. So, well are you ready? All of you geared up for more Japanese? So, well let us begin now. Hajime masho. I desu ka? Hajime masho ka? Hai. Ja hajime masho ne. The first assignment that I had given you last time was circle the correct spellings. Spellings are extremely important because in Japanese we have the long sound. So, thus we need to concentrate on spellings as well. The first one is Tanaka san wa shizuka na kata desu. Na over here is for shizuka, which is a na adjective. Watashi wa shumatsu ni kuni e kaerimasu. Ni over here is for this time expression shumatsu. Kino no yoru ame ga furi mashita. Ta is for the past is for kino. Watashi wa Tokyo ni sumitai. Tou kyo u. Please remember in English we write T O K Y O, but in Japanese it is T O O K Y O. Tokyo O. So please it is a double sound. Nihongo class wa Kuji han ni hajimarimasu. Ni over here is for time. Eki kara takushi de kaerimashita. Takushi i. Please, that is a long sound over there. Watashi wa sensei ni tokei o sashiage mashita. Sensei ni over here is for to sensei. Then we have anata wa mainichi nanji ni sampo o shimasu ka. So well, this was spellings over here. This is a simple exercise where you are to ask prize. Look at these objects here, they are given in English. You are to write in Japanese. You know all the words over here, I do not need to tell you anymore. You can use kore, kono, koko to ask price. You can use dare also for who possesses what over here, whose watch it is, whose book it is. Is it Tanaka san's book and ikura of course is for price. So, you can do small conversation, important conversation by just looking at this picture. Then we have match the kanji in column A with pictures in column B. So, let us see these are the kanjis given, simple kanjis over here with some pictures for you. So, well the first one is hon, ue on top of this, ōki, zōsan wa ōki desu, te, watashi no te desu, hito, Miru, Tanaka san wa terubi o mimasu and kuchi. So, well these were some of the kanji characters given. I hope you did it all right. Take the correct kanji characters from the readings given. Well, you have the readings over here. 
you have to tick the kanji corresponding to the reading. So, well, this is han kan, kan is time period kan, han means half, this is tsuki meaning moon, me eyes, karada body, chichi father, hanasu to talk, yomu to read and pun is minutes. So, well this was readings and kanji for you. Please try to remember these kanjis, these are important. You can do lot of games with kanjis, jumble them up, put them on a table, try to match kanji characters, try to match the readings, it is interesting and you learn as well. Then we have assignment 5 which is make proper questions to fit the answers given below. So, well the question is given over here, the answer is given here, read the answer first and then try to fit in the question words or whatever fits in best. Sensei wa anata ni nani o kuremashita ka? Watashi ni jisho o kuremashita. Give it to me. Kono shatsu wa Tanaka san no desu ka? Iie, Tanaka san no dewa arimasen. Ginko no soba ni nani ga arimasu ka? Hanaya ga arimasu. So, this is the answer, hanaya ga arimasu. Ginko no soba ni nani ga arimasu ka? Kesa dash o yomimashita ka? Iie, zashi o yomimashita. So, what should the question be over here? Kesa shimbu no yomimashita ka? Iie, zashi o yomimashita. Anata no ototo wa dash desu ka? Amerika ni imasu. So, what should the question be? Anata no ototo wa doko desu ka? Amerika ni imasu. Mainichi o kaasan ni dash then wa oshimasu ka? Sankai desu. So, the answer is sankai. What should be the question? Mainichi o kaasan ni nankai. Then wa oshimasu ka? How many times? Sankai desu or sankai shimasu. Now, fill in the blanks with appropriate verbs. Well, you have done itadaku, ageru, morau, Sashi ageru. So, let us see what all verbs are going to fit where. Watashi wa sensei ni denba bango o itadaki mashita or itadai ta for plain form and ni over here is from. Tomodachi wa watashi ni takai toke o kuremashita. Give it to me. Watashi wa rao san ni Shatsu o ageta, agemashita, ageru, agemasu or moratta, morai mashita. So, this sentence over here can have any of these as the answer. Watashi wa rao san ni shatsu o agemashita. I gave it to rao san. Watashi wa rao san ni shatsu o morai mashita. I received a shirt from Rao-san. So, any of these can fit in over here. Okaasan wa watashi ni okane o kureta. Gave it to me. Okaasan is older. So, kure mashita. Watashi wa ototo ni ii kamera o ageta or agemashita. Or again, you can use moratta. I received from my brother. Tanaka san wa ok san ni kirei na dores o ageta. Over here it is only ageta because of dress. So, well Tanaka san gave a dress to his wife. It cannot be moratta because it is a dress. So, you have to remember when to use moratta and when to use ageta. Watashi wa taro kun ni omoshiroi shatsu o 
moratta or ageta again both can be used over here kanai wa watashi ni atarashi nektai o kureta again it is nektai thus kure mashita and kanai watashi wa bucho ni wine o sashi ageru ageru itadaku so it can be any of these bucho is obviously higher in rank so sashi ageru if you are informal ageru and itadaku of course you are receiving from bucho then you have to say itadaku informal murau we have another assignment for you look at the pictures and answer the questions well let us see what the pictures are this is something you had you have done when we did hanami if you remember this is called dango this was a listening comprehension for you there is one kind of dango here on the plate and there is another kind of dango which is being roasted dango is made out of rice sticky rice and it is over here it is salty so well this was the passage that i had read out to you you can read it now dango kore wa dango desu kore mo dango desu dango wa nihon no yume na tabemono desu kodomo tachi mo otona mo dango ga daisuki desu dango wa amakute oishi tabemono desu nihon ni iron na dango ga arimasu tatoeba amai dango kuri no dango yaki dango hanami dango goma dango hanami dango wa hanami no toki ni tsukurimasu watashi wa kino gakkou no shokudo de tomodachi to issho ni oishi dango o tabemashita oishi katta kara watashi tachi wa ashita mo dango o tabemasu the answers are given over here new word over here for you is take gushi take gushi is if you look at the picture again you have the dango stick dangos are the dango is or are as in english are put into it and roasted over here you can see the meaning it is given this is the new word for you hanami dango is another one hanami dango is made when you celebrate hanami or you go watch sakura flowers that time you make special dango that is called hanami dango there is goma which is sesame sesame dango is also made all these dangos are very special very tasty and this was the assignment you can go through the answers and see whether you've done them correctly or not there is one thing which is new over here this bone bone is a counter and i'm going to discuss about bone very soon we have been doing counters for quite some time now and you have done a number of counters like counting people counting small objects counting big objects and counting dates counting a lot of other things one more counter today for you that is pon or bon this is used to count specially long cylindrical things long cylindrical objects like bottles logs um, you could have pencils you could have brushes pens all these long cylindrical brooms long cylindrical objects are all counted using this counter over here so well we'll practice this very very quickly and then go ahead with our lesson you could repeat after me ippon nihon sanbon yohon 
গহন রোপন নানা হন হাপন কিউ হন জুপন অ্যান্ড অফকোর্স ওয়েন ইউ হ্যাভ টু আস্ক হাউ মেনি দেয়ার আর নাম বন আর ইম আস্কা সো ওয়েল ইউ উইল সি ওভার হিয়ার ইচি ইপন রোপন হাপন অ্যান্ড জুপন আর ইন পন অল দি আদার্স আর ইন হন অর বন সাম বন সো ওয়েল ইউ উইল রিমেম্বার দেম স্লোলি গ্র্যাজুয়ালি when to use pon and when to use hon so well now you will be able to count how many take gushi were there on the plate very easily you can also practice over here hon bon or pon for long cylindrical objects over here you can see some bottles bin so bin wa nam bon arimasu ka can you tell me we just practiced hon bon and pon how many ippon nihon sam bon yo hon and go hon so we have go hon arimas you have another picture over here you have brushes over here well fude wa নাম বন আরিমাস কা সো ওয়েল লেট এস কাউন্ট ইপন নিহন সাম বন ইহন গহন রোপন নানা হন হাপন কিউ হন অ্যান্ড জুপন সো লেট এস সি হাউ মেনি দেয়ার আর জুপন আরিমাস দেন বি হ্যাভ অ্যানাদার পিকচার ফর ইউ ওয়ে ইউ হ্যাভ এ লট অফ পেনসিলস এম পিচু গারিমাস নে কোকনি যা নাম বন এম পিচু আরিমাস কা যা চোট মিটে মিও হাই পেন তো এম পিচু নাম বন আরিমাস কা হাউ মেনি আর দের ইপন নিহন সাম বন ইহন গহন রোপন নানা হন হাপন এন কিউ হন অ্যান্ড দিস ইজ জাস্ট দ্য ক্যাপ কিউ হন আরিমাস সো আই এম শিওর নাও ইউ ক্যান প্র্যাকটিস ইয়র পন বন অ্যান্ড হন ইজিলি উইথ ইয়র পার্টনার ইউ ক্যান শো আ নাম্বার অফ থিংস লং সিলিন্ড্রিকল অবজেক্টস and you can ask how many they are and answer as well but please remember one thing it is very very essential that you have to count whenever you count or whenever you speak in japanese in fact always speak loudly and practice loudly what can be heard very clearly by you that is most important now today we will do this matte kudasai in fact we will do te kudasai verb in te kudasai form this is requesting people to do something for you well let us see the conversation first we will listen to the conversation and then go ahead この小説読みましたかいいえまだです面白い小説ですよ読んでくださいはい今買いますラオさん私はお金払うから払わないでねありがとうございますわかりましたか皆さん少しぐらいはわかったでしょじゃあ今度私は読みますからよく聞いてください山田さんとラオさんの会話ですこの小説を読みましたかいいえまだです面白い小説ですよ読んでくださいはい今買いますラオさん私はお金払うから払わないでね。ありがとうございます。So well, this is a simple conversation between Yamada-san and Rao-san. They are at the bookshop and Yamada says, この小説を
yomimashita ka? Have you read this book? Iye mada means not yet. Omoshiroi shosetsu desu yo. It is a very interesting novel. Yonde kudasai. Please, please read. Hai. Ima kaimasu. So, he says I will buy it right away. Rao san, watashi wa okane harau kara. Harawa nai de ne. Rao san, I am going to pay for this book. So, do not pay. So, Rao san obviously will say arigato gozaimasu. Thank you very much. So, there are a couple of things which are new. Mada as I told you means not yet. Yonde kudasai. Please read. You have already done this kudasai earlier. We will discuss it right away and then harawa naide kudasai. So, well, we will do it right now. Now, you can I am sure read as we have done hiragana and katakana also. You can read I am sure you will be able to read quite a few of this easily whatever you cannot you can look up a dictionary and see the word meaning this is a translation of what we just read sometimes it is not exact translation it is what one would say in english so please keep that in mind when you are reading this Now, we did te kudasai just now. Verb in te kudasai form, you can read what is given over here. I will explain right away. You remember, do you remember doing this word kudasai? We did it in the beginning with noun o kudasai. Please give the noun to me. For example, if it is a hon, hon o kuda sai. Please give the book to me or ringo o kuda sai. O kuda sai meaning please give the ringo to me. I am going to buy it. So, well over here noun o kuda sai. Now, this kuda sai is being used with Verb kuda sai, verb in te form plus kuda sai. Basically, this te form is new. Te form actually, with the help of te form, you can say a lot of things, you can express better, you can join a lot of uh, verbs together and say what you want to say in a better way. You can convey more in short. So, thus te form is extremely essential. It is important and we will be doing a lot of te form using a lot of te form in different combining it with different things and saying learning new ways of speaking in Japanese saying more complicated things making more difficult sentences trying to say what we actually want to say. So, well over here you can see noun o kudasai and verb in te kudasai form. Now, what I want to do first is I want you to practice this and then I will tell you what exactly it is. Well, oyoi de kudasai, kaette kudasai. Atte kudasai, katte kudasai, migaite kudasai, hanashite kudasai, kaite kudasai, yonde kudasai, waratte kudasai. Tabete kudasai, mite kudasai, 
寝てください。開けてください。閉めてください。調べてください。起きてください。出てください。考えてください。So well, you will see that in this section you have te as only te plus the verb and kudasai. But over here in this column you have i d e t t e I T E N D E S H I T E. So, you have a lot of te form over here which is different from what we have been talking about. Well, that is there is a reason for it, and I will just tell you what the reason is. Column 2 is group 2. So, it is very simple all verbs in E R U and I R U are in group 2 and by just removing the mass form and adding te to it, you can get the te form for group 2. For example, mi mas tabe mas, mi te tabe te, remove the mass form over here. It is easy to do it, thus we are doing like this, but there is also a different way of doing it. Then for group 1. There are a lot of exceptions in group 1 besides the normal group 1 verbs. All verbs ending in u and r u are in group 1. Now, what you have seen over here is i d e n d e s h i t e i t e and t t e. The verb is over here. So, well the reason is that there are a lot of exceptions in group 1. There are a lot of verbs which end in ku, gu, bu, su, mu, nu, two vowels and su. So, there are a lot of verbs ending in this and thus we have all this variation over here. That is the reason you will see that there are lot of different endings over here. But well you do not have to be worried, it looks very difficult, but it is not that difficult at all. The sound is very simple, you just get used to the sound and you start using it in conversation. So, well let us see, we will practice and you will get to know what is he doing. The verb is kiku, kite kudasai, sensei ni kite kudasai. The verb is suru, there is a denva over here and the verb is to do denva. Well, shite kudasai and what is it? Denva o shite kudasai. Well, the next picture is kaku is writing over here. So, kaite kudasai, namai o kaite kudasai. Then, miru. Sensei is teaching in class, is teaching kanji in class and then mite kudasai and kokuban o mite kudasai. Kokuban is the blackboard, kokuban o mite kudasai. Well, we can practice more now, there is more practice for you. You can see two gentlemen over here, he is giving money to Tanaka san. Well, what is it? Kashite kudasai. Okane o kashite kudasai. So, please lend me some money. 
Kiku. She is looking at the menu, a little worried. What do you do? Waitress ni kite kudasai. Kite kudasai. Kore wa nan desu ka? Kite kudasai. Kiku also means to listen, to hear as you have done in your previous lessons. Kiku also means to ask. Ireru is putting it in the post. Well, irete kudasai. And posto ni irete kudasai. Then we have nomu and nonde kudasai. Kohi wo nonde kudasai. So, well now I want you to practice. Let us see whether you remember your verbs well or not. So, we have this gentleman going to the post office for what? Tegami wo okutte kudasai. Okurimasu is to send. What do we have over here? People watching a film. So, what is watching? Watching is can you tell me? Watching is miru. Ega wo mite kudasai. Then we have someone just gotten up. So, well, shiken aru kara goji ni okite kudasai. So, well, you have a test tomorrow. Goji ni okite kudasai. Someone is just about to drink tea, kocha o nonde kudasai. So, it is a request for, for someone to do as the verb is saying. So, I am requesting you to do something for me is te kudasai or de kudasai form. This is shimbun o yonde kudasai. Another one is writing shigoto o shite kudasai or repoto o kaite kudasai. Any of these you can use or benkyo shite kudasai. Any of these you can use and practice te kudasai. Well, there is a small dialogue over here. Irashai mase, sumimasen. Ano kutsu shita o misete kudasai. Dore desu ka? Asoko no akai kutsu shita desu. O kyak sama, kore desu ka? Hai, sou desu. So, I am quite sure that you would have understood all of it over here and I do not need to explain anything except irashai mase. Irashai mase is a phrase which is used when you either go to someone's house, you enter someone's house or you enter a shop meaning welcome. Irashai mase. Most of the time it is used in shops, in hotels, in restaurants, in all these places. Okyak sama. It could have been san also over here. Sama is honorific meaning exactly the same. Okyak sama means guest or customer. So, well, instead of kutsu shita, you can use kutsu, boshi, toke, kaban, jisho, any of this. And instead of akai, you can use shiroi, oki, kawai, chisai and misete kudasai. Please show it to me. It is a request to show something to you. So, when you say please tabete kudasai, mite kudasai, atte kudasai, itte kudasai, swatte kudasai, nonde kudasai, matte kudasai, it means that you are requesting the person to do something for you. That is what the verb is saying. Please do this for me. That is what te kudasai means. Well, now we have
this is an exercise for you. I hope you remember this picture. We did it in one of our lessons. Look at the picture carefully. Try to remember where you saw it. I have something to say about the picture. Listen to it carefully and then answer the questions that are given. So, well, yoku kite kudasai ne minasan. Watashi tachi wa kono e o mai ni mimashita. Kore wa doyu mono desu ka? Sore mo benkyo shimashita. Kono e no naka no mono wa nihongo de nan to imasu ka? Sore mo class de sensei ga oshie mashita. Watashi wa mai ni oshie mashita yo ne minasan ni. だから見てくださいこのものはどんな祭りに飾りますか今わかりますね思い出しましたかじゃあ皆さん今いろいろ思い出しましたから皆さんに質問をします頑張ってくださいね頑張って答えてください頑張って書いてください。いいですかみんなで頑張りましょう。質問を読みますね。皆さん、絵の中のものは何ですかわかりますか絵の中のものは何ですかはい。絵の中のものは人形です。絵のものはどちらのものですかどの国のものですかどちらのものですかはい、日本のものです。このものはどんな祭りに飾りますか祭りの名前を言ってくださいどんな祭りですかこの間私たちはクラスで勉強しましたよねじゃあ答えてくださいはいひな祭りです祭りはどちらの祭りですかもちろん日本の祭りです日本のものですから、日本の祭りです。祭りは何月にありますかわかりますかはい、三月にあります。祭りは何と言いますかさっき私は言いましたから。何と言いますかひな祭りです。or doll festival です。日本の有名なひな祭りです。じゃあね、皆さん、今たくさん分かったから、自分で小さな作文を書いてください。はい。どうでした、皆さん。分かりましたか、全部。分かりましたじゃあ、頑張って、うちで書いてください。はい。ここに全部書いてありますから。読んでみてくださいそして質問もあります答えもありますはいどうぞ人魚日本ひな祭り日本三月とひな祭りをドールフェスティブルです You can also look up the net and see about the doll festival And you can write a small, a very small essay, maybe 10 lines, a small composition on Hina Matsuri. That could be your Shukudai. Well, we have other things to do now. So, there is a small expression over here. You have Tanaka san and Mariko san over here, and Tanaka san is giving something to Mariko san. What is the expression? あの
つまらないものですが召し上がってくださいあの This is when you just start a conversation. Sumaranai means something very small. It's a small thing. So, when you give a present to someone, however big it may be, it is always Sumaranai mono desu ga. It's a small thing, but please, meshi agatte kudasai. So, meshi agarimas is polite for tabemas, and thus, this is, this is a Cake. So, meshi agatte kudasai. Please have it. Please eat it. And the reply is arigato gozaimashita. So, please remember whenever you visit someone, you take a present, and when you give the present, this is the phrase to be used. Sumaranai mono desu ga, meshi agatte kudasai. Then, as we always do, we are going to do katakana. And the sa series, sa. You can see how the stroke order is 1, 2, and 3, and there is a slight slant over here. So, please keep that in mind. Sa, shi, and with shi, it is very important, it goes from here towards the top over here and not the other way round. It is from bottom to top. Sashi, you can see it very clearly now. Su, se and please notice the first stroke is this and the second stroke is this and not the other way round. Well, sometimes we do learn incorrect method of writing, but well, you have it given right here and you can practice and learn. And then you have it all in front of you, all in one. You can see very clearly what stroke to write first. Now, we have some kanji characters over here. Some kanjis you have done, some kanjis we will do. Today, we have this kanji over here, na kanji. You know the word, you have done namai and we will do the kanji right away. One, two, three. This, ka this character you have done, kuchi. Is not it? Do you remember doing kuchi, all of you? No, like this. Okay. My drawing is very bad. Well, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. It is a 6 stroke character. Now, namai no na. Namai is name. The first letter in Namai is the first kanji character na. Once again for you over here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. It is a 6 stroke character as is given over here. Then we have done this word soto. The opposite of naka is, opposite of naka is Soto, naka, naka and soto, similar character and to. It is a 5 stroke character, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Like this. Now, the word that I am going to give you, you already know the word, you have already been using that word simple word over here. Well, the word is namai as we just now did. Namai na mai na mai and 
The other word is gaikoku. Soto means outside, naka means inside. Another reading for soto is gai. And this character, if you remember, we did koku means country. So, gai koku. Koku. Meaning foreign country. Country which is outside yours. So, gai koku. Once more for you. Gai koku. Gai koku. And of course, if you add jin over here, hito over here, it becomes gai koku, jin meaning a foreigner. So, please remember these are two characters. Namai Namai then Gai Koku and Gai Koku Jin over here. You have foreigner over here. So these are words that you have already done. Now you can remember them as kanji characters. Anytime you see them, you will know how to pronounce it. And namai of course, is very, very important because anytime you need to fill a form in Japanese, the first place that you need to full, fill and to concentrate on is namai. There are some words over here. Meibutsu, the meanings are given. These are just some words which you can remember, make sentences with and feel more comfortable. Meibutsu, gaikoku go. Of course, as we are doing it in India, for us Japanese is a gaikoku go, which is a foreign language. Gairai go, any Japanese word is a foreign word for us. Meijin, as you can see, is a master or an expert at something. Igai is beyond or besides and soto kabe. Soto, one reading is soto outside, kabe is a wall. Then, we have been doing kotowaza in each lesson for quite some time now. Today, this is very interesting. A simple kotowaza over here, makeru ga kachi. Makeru means to lose. Kachi means to win. So, if you want to win, you actually have to really, really work hard and lose some time. Because when you lose, you want to work more, you work very hard and your road to victory is clear. So, well for us also, we are doing Japanese, we are working very hard. It is difficult, it is not simple. But you do not have to feel bad at all. When you make mistakes, it does not matter. You should not feel bad because when you make mistakes, you learn and you want to work hard and do better. So, the more mistakes you make, the better it is, the more you learn. Makeru ga kachi. Anytime you make a mistake, do not feel bad. This is when you are actually going to work very, very hard and learn more. So, please remember this kotowaza. This kotowaza is very, very important for us, for all of us here. We should not feel bad about mistakes or making mistakes. We should not feel shy. Just keep going ahead. Defeat is the first step towards victory. So, anytime remind yourself of this and things will seem better. Well, now let us see what we have next. There is vocabulary. You can do this vocabulary at home. I will just read it out once for you to get the pronunciation. You could also repeat after me. Kasu, kariru, 
入れるいらっしゃいませ召し上がるお客さん And please remember, おくやく The ku in the end is silent. お客さん見せる送る怒る質問 and 答え So the meanings are given over here. You can repeat it. Also at home and practice. And now my time is over, your time begins. You have to do your shukudai at home and go over the lesson. The first one is, of course, as we always do, match group A with group B. Then We have these sentences for you over here. You have to join these sentences and make a single sentence out of it. There is fill in the blanks. Then there is these pictures, and what you have to do is you have to practice how to request people to do something for you. And then there is counters. Please write about these counters and try to see which counter is going to be used where. Then we have match group A with group B. Make good sentences, make proper sentences. They are all jumbled up, and this is going to give you good practice to speak as well. That's all for today. We've done a lot of things, new things. You can practice te kudasai, you can practice numbers, you can practice、uh, counters over here, you can do simple small conversation over here, and rest we will do in our next lesson. Till then, sayonara. Arigato gozaimasu, minasan. Mata aimashou.